down your head. Lay down your pride. Begin as always by priming your eyes. For prom, this is especially important because you want long lasting, vivid makeup. Begin by selecting a nice medium toned bronze eyeshadow. And getting this on a flat shader brush, we're going to pack this along the outer half of the eye. Next, selecting a rich gold eyeshadow, we're going to take that on the other side of the brush and apply this in the middle, working it down towards the inner corner of the eye. This is going to act as our main shadow. Next, selecting a more red-toned brown, we're going to get that on a fluffy brush and begin applying it into the crease, working it slowly inwards towards the inner corner. But obviously, don't bring it all the way in as this is meant to define the outer corner. Now selecting a richer, darker brown, we're going to get that on a pencil brush and begin defining our outer V. So shape this in just below your crease color, connecting it to the lash line. Now taking the blending brush, redefine the red and reshape the outer corner and blend as desired. Now going in with a matte highlight, I've mixed two colors just because that's what I've been doing recently. Get that on a fluffy brush and apply that above the eyeshadows under the brow bone just to clean things up a bit. Now taking a concealer, I'm going to apply that under the eye to clean up any fallout and erase those dark circles. Now mixing the red and the dark brown shades, I'm going to take that on the same pencil brush and apply that along the lower lash line. Now taking a black gel eyeliner on a very, very thin tipped brush, I'm going to use that to line my upper lash line. Don't worry if it's a little bit messy, we're going to blend it out in a moment, just get the general idea and try to keep it fairly thin. Now taking a clean angled eyeliner brush, I'm going to use that to blend out that original line to really soften it up and blend it into the rest of the eyeshadows. Now this step is optional, but I'm going to curl my eyelashes in preparation for some falsies and line my upper waterline using that same black gel eyeliner. Make sure you bring it all the way into the inner corner. If you're going to be wearing false lashes, now is the time to go ahead and apply them. So I've done that and then when the glue's dried, I'm just curling them to blend them with my natural eyelashes. Now taking a thin tipped liquid eyeliner pen, I'm going to be drawing a thin line over the base of the lashes, just blending them with the eyeliner I have already applied and making sure that they blend in seamlessly with my natural lashes. I'm also adding a little bit of a wing just for fun. Now wait for that liner to dry because the last thing you want is for it to smudge. And then it's all about playing with the shape, re-intensifying colors, maybe darkening it up like I'm doing here, just until you get the right eye shape that you're looking for. Now going back in with that gel liner, I'm going to line my bottom waterline about halfway in. Now taking a mascara, I'm going to apply that over my false lashes to blend them in with my natural ones. And don't forget to liberally apply it to your bottom lashes as well to balance them out. And those are the finished eyes. Moving on to face makeup, we're going to start by applying a foundation which I've done before the video. Next we're going to set it using a mattifying powder so that you don't get shiny throughout the evening as you dance the night away. Since you're going to be taking lots of pictures, it's nice to add a bit of contouring to your cheeks to intensify your bone structure. So here I'm taking a matte bronzer and applying it straight to the hollows of my cheeks and below the jawbone. I'm also adding it anywhere that the sun would naturally hit my face like the bridge of my nose and my temples. Then taking a rosy gold blush, I'm going to be applying that straight to my cheeks. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be taking a nude lipstick and applying it using dabbing motion so that I don't get too muted out of lips and look scary. And I'm just going to be topping it off with a sheer orangey gloss. Once you've finished your makeup, it's time to fix up your hair. I love this makeup paired with a messy kind of Blake Lively inspired updo. And then add your accessories. Here I'm doing some simple drop earrings. And then just get ready to enjoy the night of your life. I hope you guys enjoy. Good luck. And if you recreate this look, please, please, please send me pictures. Bye, guys.